So Sheffield United have had the worst Premier League start since Sheffield United seasons ago. Honestly, that team is a shambles. Hecking Bottom has some answering to do. Yes, the board haven't made it easy, but the ratings are well, better than Luton's. As today, we're going to be taking over the team that literally had 10 games in with one point. We've replicated their points tally in real life. All the other simulations are different. It's just our results that have stuck, so... It's harder to get safety now. But in a desperate plea to try and save the club, Hecking Bottom unfortunately had to go. And his replacement is Steven Gerrard of El Etifak. Yeah, of course. Another chance for the Scouser. The first thing he's done is brought in his own coaching team and finally got some coaches here at Chef United. As we've got to fix this team, honestly, it's not too bad. I mean, Sousa and Norwood, come on. That's just an easy change to make. We do have some decent players as well. Sousa being one of those. Fodringham and Ben Hozic, I'm a huge fan of. You can tell because I've actually learnt to say the name. I hope I've said it right anyway. As the objectives, even though we look like we're going to the championship, is to to win the Champions League, also win the Premier League, and we've got to have at least two players sticking in the team from the start in the Champions League win, which is a big feat, but it was suggested in the comments of the last video, so it's happening. So picking two players for his journey, it looks like we've got some youngsters here. We've got Cameron Archer, because Admin Hozic will grow as a centre-half. Sousa's decent, Hammer. But one big player I'm a fan of is James McAtee. I have loyalties to his brother, which I've spoken about before because of his time at Grimsby. Maybe if we could buy him from Man City, he could be decent. Depends on the player. Depends on the player. We've got to coach them right as well. And we've, to be fair, got no room for signing, so our players will grow. We're going to have to go mental with the money in January, though, as we only have 80 million, to be fair, though. Not good enough for a big player. Would be good as well if we could find someone from the scouting network to go into the team in this season. I'm worthy of giving chances, because... We kind of look done already. A good sign is, though, despite everyone being unhappy, we've got everyone apart from the lone boys signed up for next season so we can make profit on them. We've already got Baldock going on a massive... Hey, hey oh. It's Greek. I didn't know Baldock was Greek, but he's going on a strop. He's transfer listed himself. Very, very pessimistic. As we're going to see if we can turn it around immediately with Wolves, which is a big game. Gerard's first game in charge. Can he revitalize this Chef United team? He can't, but it's only one goal in it. Mateus Gunya with a brace. McBurney got us off to a good start. But you've got to stay consistent, and consistency is what we've got to pick up. And if you're telling me getting a new manager doesn't equal a bounce, we beat Man City, Drew to Liverpool, Chelsea, wins all over the shop. We've only lost that one game, which was Wolves, as the only game we've lost. I, I don't know how to say it differently. We're 16th in the league. What a come up for Chef United. Despite this, though, we have unhappy players. Davis, Osborne and Fleck are furious. But we do have higher ratings. The likes of Gustavo Hammer, Admen Hozic. They have got to come on the journey with us alongside Vinny Souza. Apologies to Archer and McBurney. Well, not so much Archer, but McBurney... I think the Blades need a bit more sharpness in attack. So we will make no mistake and we will bring that striker in immediately from La Liga. Welcome to Gerard's Blazeman, Borja Mayoral. I am very excited to see the Spaniard working for us. And he's come for relatively quite cheap. Only 6.1 million for Prem football. We've just got to hope we remain in this division though. Sousa's now in the bat line. We've got Norwood in midfield. Another centre half. Could that work wonders? Unfortunately, though, Borja, the only man into the club, the window just slammed shut, and we still had 11 million left. We may put it into the academy, as that's what we're left with. Come on, let's survive, please. So let's see. It's a shame we haven't won the title. Man United beating us to it. That's actually a surprise in itself. But we come 15, so we have survived. Brentford getting sent down to the depths of the championship with Burnley and Luton. Steven Gerrard is a miracle worker, literally. I cannot believe he has come in and done that. Results have been... They've been hot and cold in the... Well, very cold, actually, in the second half of the season, but we don't care. His December month was absolutely terrifyingly good. I, I don't think that makes any sense, but look at the team. Norwood's got to be replaced next year, for sure. The rest of the lads I'm pretty confident with. Maybe a left wing back, maybe a goalkeeper. 
may be challenging near Europe soon. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I want to check goal scorers. We've got Gustavo Hamer, who's the highest, because of course we've got to keep players here. Cameron Archer, he's got to join us on the journey. He's got to be one of the two players that we win the UCL and Premier League with. So this season, look at the rating of Vinny Souza. Now he's a center half. We've already got our first 80 rated into the squad now. We need more to join him. We are expected to be firmly safe as well this season mid-table. Gerard will get sacked if he doesn't come there. You just know it. Youth development as well, but not really critical on signings. I love that. Means we can spend the money and 31 million's a good reward from surviving. So two signings coming in right here. We haven't actually gone down the goalkeeper avenue. I'm saving that for later. We're getting a left back and a very capable CDM. The first one fits straight in. Rico Henry from, of course, relegator Brentford. I think he'll do a great job at left wing back. But Steven Gerrard has used his Liverpool links to bring in a wonder kid. This is the signing of relegated with Burnley, Stefan Bajetic. Of course, he is a Liverpool Academy man. Gerard's convinced him over and he will fight for the blades. We now have a very capable Premier League squad as well. Goalkeeper's definitely the next option. If we sell Fodringham, we can then afford to bring someone in, however. Oh, but, but screw it. Screw it. There were a signing I was making. We sold Max Lowe to afford this man. And I couldn't pass up on it. Bringing him back. Sander Berrigay, relegated with Burnley, of course. And I think he was the biggest mistake of the Sheffield United board. Letting that man go. Worked on the bench this season. And Davis straight out with the team. That midfield is very capable. The attack is. And the defence really is. I am loving it. We've really got to motivate the boys, though. Because although we've got a good team, it's never easy to survive in the Premier League. Gerard speaking to the press about it. He had his chance with Villa. But can he use it with an improved chef? United team bought her Mayoral. And that is a big win over a flying Brighton. And manager of the month for Steve in his first month in charge for a full season. Nothing to be ashamed of. Not doing too cracking. I don't really know how we've won that over the likes of Villa's manager, Unai Emre. Still, we'll try and catch him somehow and do well this season. And that is, in fact, that's quite frankly, a bit embarrassing to be 16th in, in a division which isn't full of quality down the bottom. Thumbs down and really, really has to be, to be fair for Stevie. We've got such a good squad. We've invested. We've got a solid defense. Bajetic is very unhappy. It seems like he's not getting played. Berdegay and Hamer not doing too great. Borja Mayoral's injured. So I'll give him a little bit of leeway. We've only got 3 million as well to spend. I think if we sold Fodringham by now, I think he's 34. He'd sell for about a million. So I'm very disappointed. We haven't hit our youth player goal as well, but... Oh, Stevie, man. I want you to turn it around. And ladies and gentlemen, we've pulled a thumbs up from that final month. Did that... Oh, looking at the month before, that probably kept us up. Steven Gerrard has majorly, majorly been saved by his players in the final month of the season. We finished just above the drop zone by four points. You probably don't look at us and expect much, but we've got to be doing better than that with the team we have, as we did well in the FA Cup as well. I kept my eye on that. Luton Town still beating us. Relegated Luton. Not good. We should have been going to Wembley as Archer is 80 rated finally, but it looks like Souza and Ames Hosage. Well, all three of those, to be fair, we could take to the Gloryland. It's just a matter of when because the rest of the team not following. Hamer kind of is. I'm very disappointed in Bachetti. So we've got to check scorers. It is Mayoral on top, though, with 13. Three more than Archer. Now that. That's put me in a state of dilemma. No increases to players outside, of course, of the season. Bogle's still injured. I'm guessing they're going to try and step it up a little bit. No, still mid-table. Europa League pressure not on just yet, but Gerard will face that soon from me. They want a different nationality signing. They want us to broaden our horizons. And we're definitely not doing that wage cut. Have we got some non-ridiculous wages? Not really. Rico Henry for 36k a week. That is cheap in a Premier League team. As 37 million, our budget's gone up. I didn't expect that. I expected it to go down after 
Of course, a very underwhelming season in our opinions. We've got a lot of contracts to sign up though, and probably not that man, West Fodderingham. He can go on the transfer list. And there it is, there's the message of him leaving with the new keeper just below. On the same day one arrives, the other one leaves. Fodderingham, you've been a good servant. Off to Lisbon you go. A nice Portuguese holiday for the end of your career as Bryce Samba replaces him for 22.8 million. Back to England he comes after his forest days. I, I always thought he did really well in the penalty shootout against the Blades in the playoff final or semi-final seasons ago. So it's just fitting that he's now at the Blades helping them out. Surprisingly though, after signing Samba, we still have 36 million, but there is a valid reason for that. I am not giving us extra money. I can't do that. No mods. I hope to have soon, but Borja Mayoral has left the club as well. And his replacement is a very obscure player from Lecce. I've gone niche with this. I trust him to become very, very good. The new number nine is Nikola Krustovic. The Montenegro international coming across for 27 billion. Big ones. No player face, but surely he will face the goal and put plenty in the back of the net as we've got to move on to the first game of the season and put last season behind us. And now it's winter. I've got my hot chocolate and we face Steven Gerrard's ex-team Liverpool in our first game. That's difficult. What is the result going to be? It's not a lucky drink. It's a 3-1 defeat. Hopefully better around the season. It is a first difficult game to have, but I thought we'd put up more of a fight. Wow. And a Carabao Cup semi-final. Two legs, of course, against Brentford. Interesting. Want to see the other ones. I've just closed my eyes when I went past the league table. Crystal Palace and Chelsea. Please, Palace, get through. And also, of course, I wouldn't mind that being a final as... As we're fourth in the Premier League. I expected an improvement, but not that much of an improvement. Samba is having an absolute blasting goal. What a goalkeeper he is, by the way. To carry us up there, and his old team's just behind us, to be fair, that is sensational. Is his rating going up? It hasn't, but Admen Hozic just has. We've got 79 rated still in the team, and we're in the Champions League places. So his midfield's not strong enough now. I want to keep Gustavo here. He's got beautiful stats, despite the rating. But Zedic, I still think, will grow. And Sander Berg, Maybe a bench player, but he definitely wants to stay here. I'm very pumped to see the rest of the season. We have 8 million. We could buy like a 35-year-old Kovacic or something like that. An old player that's good, but I don't think we need to. The little amount of draws is doing us a favour. If we could turn them into wins, could we be in a title charge? And the board are fuming with us, by the way. They're fuming with us because we haven't saved wage money. Are you seeing the results in the final month? Gerard is delivering. Is that... A title as well. We don't know. No, it's only fifth. Right. Okay. So we must have had a bit of a drop off in between. The the little draws have done us a favour, to be fair. 23 wins. One point of Champions League football. Still above his old team in Villa, Arsenal and Chelsea. That must feel good. He really couldn't beat Liverpool as well as they're in the FA Cup final. I think we did well in this. Actually, no. Bournemouth stopped by them as Brentford won the Carabao Cup. Palace did make the final. Oh, but we lost to Brentford, man. That was a chance for silverware. I want more. As the team's ratings, I've got to say Kerstovic again. Stop off. Going on a tangent. He is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. The midfield's improved as defence has improved now. We've only got two under 80 rated. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And Archer, we're definitely going to keep using him. He's got 20 goals. Kerstovic... With 18, but he's surpassed him in rating by three. Now, that is peculiar. The ratings increasing has come with consequences, though. Reach a semi-final. Also reach the Europa League again. Salary growth going down. Players from the academy. They're just combining everything from previous seasons now. It's making it difficult. But the budget ain't 100 million for the Blades in Europa League. I cannot believe that. Midfielder. Right wing back. We're going to sort that straight out. We'll probably have contract issues as well. We can't lie. Samba dominating the rating so far. Yep. A lot of players running out. We've managed to sign Hamer, Trusty, and now Souza up anyway. That's all that matters. And we've got our first player in. The midfield is sorted. Bergay replaced by a similar man. But from Atletico Madrid, Matteo Guendouzi. He was stuck on their bench. And the board are furious. But I'm going to keep spending their money. You spent 40 big ones on Aaron Hickey. We're just signing the two positions that we need. That is a brilliant team. Rico Henry's got his friend from Brentford. Brentford friends. The team that beat us, of course, in the Carabao Cup as that team. 
that team challenges top four. It's got to be a good start, though. Nottingham Forest were up there last season. Decent team. Very decent team. Milanga on that side still. His rating must be through the roof as we still beat them. Kristovic, one of the best scouted players out there. Fantastic start. Fantastic. Only Manchester United above us as we've got to check the Europa League group as well. It's the group of circle badges apart from Lech Poznan at the bottom, Copenhagen and Feyenoord. I think we should be going through in that. And I don't know about the Europa League, but I do know that we're sitting top of the Prem. Manchester United chasing the Blades, Sheffield United. Gerard will love that. Don't know if he'll love actually being above Liverpool, as we did come top for a minute there. I thought we wasn't through, but of course it's the preliminary round. I've learned to say that, as we've got 10 million in the bank. That's not really much to deal with. We've got an 88 rated Kerstovic as well. What an improvement. That is why we're top of the league. Helped by Samba just keeping them out. Weakest position, Trusty as well. I, I do still trust Trusty though. Uh, Bogle on the bench. We're, we're strong enough, but could we win the title? I genuinely don't know, but we're expected to do well in the Europa League as well. Semi-final. Do we reach it? And ladies and gentlemen, we only have a 55 manager rating, but we made the quarterfinals. What? I don't get it. Boston Villa in here with Dortmund. We've got Villarreal. I think we've got luckier. We simply have to try and win this, and we do. Stefan Bajedic with a goal. He's got two. Finally come good. Done it in his native country as Archer does it in his as well. Back at... Bramall Lane, that's it, and we win! And it's a shame that we won't be playing Villa in the final. We've got Dortmund, but a good statistic. Matteo Guendouzi, top assister, leader, as it says. These will be some team, though. Some team, and we win! Jebison, who's been here from the start, scoring in the final in added time. Trusty got sent off. Sure, it was a tactical tackle. Kristovic with two, literally two scorers who I love scoring. Fantastic. And a trophy in the cabinet. We've just got to resume that and we didn't even see the league position. We were in the title race. I thought it said we'd won the title then. Oh yes! We... Don't go off. I don't know how we've lost the screen but let's go back because we've won the Premier League title. That is one of the objectives off. Now all we've got to do is win the Champions League which of course we're in. A very low points tally but we don't care and... We, is it skips again away? We we literally just have to do it with players in the team who have been here from the start, of course. We've got Archer, Hammer, Trusty Souza, Ahmed Hozic. I think one of them probably gets replaced to make this a better team. Maybe Trusty at the back. He'll be suspended for Europe next season as well. And maybe Gustavo Hammer, because that leaves us with Souza, Ahmed Hozic, and Archer. But honestly, this team has been a delight to coach. And I am very pumped to be chasing PSG for that Champions League. The only thing we literally need to do, we'll play them in the Super Cup, of course, as the team looks absolutely perfect as well, as long as they haven't got a wage issue. We definitely need a backup keeper. Damn, our squad is thin. But signing-wise, of course, I, I think it's trusty. Trusty's been trustful, but now I don't trust him. The board agree with me as well, saying get a crucial defender. Also reached the semi-final. Finishing the Champions League again. Semi-final again. It's all... As expected. How much money have they given us though? 119 million. It is baffling to say that we've won the Europa League, won the Premier League, and got 19 million more. Surely the bonuses are more than that. And also it's worth mentioning Kristovic and Samba. Again, I can't believe their ratings. So let's get the defender in. Straight away, no messing about. He's got the red highlights and he's meant to play in red. Welcome to Gerard's men, Mohamed Simikan. Out with untrusty trusty and in with Simikan who can do it. Honestly, I hate that I'm trying to make these player puns. Oh well. And from two ex Brentford fullbacks to two current Scottish, as Robbo Andrew Robertson is our new left back. Cannot wait to see him flying down the flank. Some strong defenders now on the bench, as well as, of course, in the team. That is a Champions League defence, a Champions League team with the two strikers. We might get the backup keeper through the academy or sign a new one as we've got Arsenal first. Title retention against Nketiah up front. Now, he did get a hat-trick at the weekend, but I have faith he won't hear. He scores. He scores two. It was very close, in fact.
Made me eat my words. And we've got the backup keeper in. Probably won't play Champions League nights, but Edouard Mendy. As speaking of those Champions League nights, we've got Sevilla, PSV and Celtic. Right, a very, very tight group. The red and white teams apart from Celtic. Celtic have got to go out because they're not red and white. It's got to be one of those three and let's hope it is us. And halfway through, the title retention rate is going as well as the league season this year. 10 points off. Still, we know we don't care as we've got Atletico Madrid in the next round. Galatasaray there, Salzburg, Benfica. Give us one of them in the final. If we make it, of course, it's not guaranteed looking at the other side of the group. And Celtic actually made it through. Same amount of points as us. We must have kept drawing to them or them beating us and us beating them because same record. We go first, though. Survive playing Man United by a goal. <laughs> Thank the Lord for goal difference. Still, it won't be an easy fixture. We're against the team with Dan Juma, Beltran, Saul at left back. I think someone's losing the plot, but they still, well, we scrape a draw. To be fair, it was all in the last 10 minutes. Let's see if they've done the tactics right for the second leg. Ooh, it was a draw again, but we go through on penalties. Bernardo missing. They must have scraped it. Uh, yes, Kristovic scored first, then Dan Juma. But we go through and we continue with the Spanish teams after that. Salzburg got through. Who do they beat? They beat Benfica. Oh, Galatasaray. We're very close to PSG. No one can handle us, though, when we're on it. Archer and Bajetic. Still, it's a draw and we've got to go to the new camp. If we can do what Jude Bellingham does there, though, we'll be fine. Yes, and yes, you cannot keep Kristovic quiet. Gustavo Hamer as well. Barcelona buried. On to the semi-final. Genuinely love this game, but oh, the teams that are through. Madrid, Dortmund, Paris. And I mean, out of the teams we could get, I'm hopeful against Dortmund. PSG beating Madrid. Their team is good, but we know we beat them in the Europa League final. I'm pretty sure it were against Dortmund. And we beat them away from home. And do the Blades make the final? You bet they do. It took penalties, though, because they beat us. Perrin with the miss. Trusty... Being trustful. Assist leader as well. This season isn't Guanduzzi. It is actually Bacetic. From CDM, we've had a team that's just been on the up. And four. Four original players made this final. And we've got Trusty on the bench who scored the penalty. That was fitting, so it would have been five. But honestly, this team's been amazing. Robertson actually drops out for the final, however. Rico Henry deservedly going in. And I'm excited for this because we bottled the league. We finished in a Europa League place. I'm guessing no trophy, no FA Cup, no Carabao Cup. But I know I'd want the big trophy if it arrived here in England. And it will be PSG. You can just tell when you see Killian right in front of your face. He never moves away from the bloody club. Very nice kit as well. I've got to say the PSG one. But hopefully we can beat them. Bad news though. Before we get into this. Gustavo Hamer is suspended. So in comes Sousa in midfield. And Trusty in the defence. Wasn't a change I wanted to make. Especially now that it'll be well semi-marking Killian Mbappe. Because he's round Simi Khan. And he's run out of play. Well done, Mbaps. That was shocking from him. Asmen Hozic. I'm so, so hyped that he's made it on this journey. I know how good the Bosnian is. As Hickey's done exactly what Mbappe did. Tricky start. But Souza stepping into the midfield. Another man I'm glad to come on the journey with a good tackle. Cameron Archer. Oh my days, it's 1-0 already. It is 1-0 after a sloppy start. Cameron Archer. I can't process that. I really can't. Kristovic turned provider. Paris have never been so leaky at the back. It's just a chip over and that was drilled with the outside of the boot. Donnarumma doesn't even dive. 1-0 Blades. Cutting through their defence with ease. It was Vinny Jr. right in there with another tackle. Just getting a big reaction from Renato Sanchez. I thought that should have definitely been a booking. But he's playing amazing in the midfield. Maybe it was a blessing in disguise, no Hamer. I think he's a brilliant player but Vinny Souza, man. He's here on the ball. He can actually hit a ball as well. What a goal from Vinny Souza. And it is two now. This man is dominating the Champions League final. Where has he come from, literally? He's just been a centre back all save. Why did he ever change? Look at this. 2 0 immediately in the final. And that is some goal from a centre half. DVG masterclass. Admin Hozic, though, still with the ball in the middle. Vinny Souza 
Again, dictating. Get out of his way. He is the man making everything happen. The passing. It's so direct. It's so decent. Rico Henry trying to fizz a cross in. Still will win that second header. And Kosic. So dominant. Ball outside of the box as well here. And Bacchetti. Oh, was very close. PSG. Well, they're trying to react a little bit now. But they, they beat us in the Super Cup. But, oh, that's a very good ball, actually. Samba with the miss. And Samba with the double save. He's actually wearing what seems like the same kit as the outfield players but that is absolutely wonderful PSG finally threatening for once in this game Xavi Simmons they're playing around us and Mbappe used to playing against him in league one as we counter attacking from a corner right here Berchetic we're not going to get time or are we because it's very far out Aaron Hickey why not just try and drill that very far out and optimistic but we Got the breathing room to do that. Nothing happens in the second half as Kirstovic onto Cameron Archer. He opens his body up and we've just ran straight past Lamorm and it's embarrassing. It really is. And oh, Donnarumma. That was a very poor shot, but I thought it'd trickle in. Got away with one as Trusty right here onto Bacetic. He's all over screening. Vinny Sousa going a bit more quiet in the second half as Krostic tries to join in. Here is Vinny again. Could he turn provider this time? That's a beautiful ball for Kerstovic. Slows down a bit. Opens his body up and rattles the bar. Being utterly dominant. I bet you any money they get a goal right here. Oh, good stop, Trusty. They haven't tested Samba bar one chance in that first half. It's been dominant. Archer needed to continue that run, but it doesn't matter. The Blades have gone from strugglers at the bottom of the league, appointing Frank Lampard, and now champions of Europe. What a way to do it as well. We've signed quality players. We've kept the spine of our squad right here, and we've added some unknown quantities. Kerstovic, what a signing, I must say, for the a millionth time. And I actually don't know what stadium this is. If you do know yourselves, drop it in the comments below. I believe that's Admin Hozic lifting the trophy up. He's deserved it. He's been on the journey. And the Blades have completed that. Done both Sheffield United and Wednesday now. So I hope you guys are happy. And there's no rivalries on this channel, of course. If you're new around here, subscribe to more MWS. And this channel, if you want more FIFA career mode content... And I will see you for the very next one.